Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL Mod Roulette. Last episode we did a run with Space Worm, I think. Yes. Went well, it's time to pick a new ship. Somebody out there is probably burning his eyes out from this sudden shift from black to white. Anyway, uh, vanilla 124. Alright. See which one 124 is. Nighthawk, Stealth Fighter, my styles are J. Oh, he'll be happy. Anyway, um, see you when I get it all installed. Let's go. So, where are we looking? There it is. Federation Stealth Fighter Type B, using an old fighter chassis mixed with parts of from a destroyed DS or 12 Stealth Cruiser Nighthawk is, des is a desperate measure by the Federation to try and win the war. Okay. Looks neat. Starts with a burst MK2, three system slots, and a glaive beam artillery. Hmm. Alright. It sounds potent at the start. Long range scanners, the titanium system casing. You can definitely see where the stealth cruiser parts are coming from. Alright. Cool. Um, I can check. Shouldn't you know that though? This was posted January 1st, 2015. <laughs> I did, I did. Then again, people say I run around like a chicken without a head anyway, so would people really notice? Anyway, let's go. Can you show his name of Fetus once again? Massive front section, huge artillery base. Mind control cloak. Mind control teleporter. Alright. It's gonna be annoying. Missile launcher, hull laser. Hull beam and missile launcher, okay. A lot of people should take note from that. Look at a ship, see that it works, but it's not really fit for play, and then just move on, make something new. But no, this ship is stupidly overpowered, people will love it. Nope. <coughs> not quite. Anyway, let's get to it. Uh, everybody seems to be in the... No, I want you here and you there. And I turned off my weapon because, you know. Reasons, am I right? Gotta have reasons. System casing for the win, never thought I'd say that. Come on, Glaive, you should be ready to fire. Was this set to 50 seconds? Dude. <clears throat> I guess it is. I thought you just slapped the glaive onto something. This going to be a longer one, though. Uh, sure. We can put you on sensors, I guess. You didn't. This takes a long time, though, to... I'm pretty sure the glaive beam doesn't have a 40-second cooldown, which means it shouldn't go all up all the way, which I believe it is doing. I'll wait and check. I think I'm fairly sure. Even though this is definitely not 
the 20 something seconds we are used to from a glade beam, it should only go up to here in that case. Yep, you did modify the glaive beam. Which means we have to get it to level 4 to be a standard thing. Um, sure, we'll sell that. <coughs> Doesn't happen that often to actually give you stuff. Appreciate it. It has been a long time. Sending the drone. Well, if that's the case, I'm not gonna... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Early game, yes. Late game, yeah, not so much. Q weapons being hit. I think 30% dodge would stand for something. Alright, let's get uh, cloaking repaired. Uh, let's fire on that. Okay, cloaking's up. So yeah, it's 40. Why though? Well, that's one way to take care of a drone temporarily. Shoot it. <laughs> continue, continue. Um, we can save for shields, I guess. With the charge booster giving us a little bit of extra oomph when we need it. It's not the problem that you're waiting for for time to take shields down, it's that you have to wait for it. You can't just fire and forget like you can do with something else. I mean, the Vindicator, you just fire away and it'll hit something no matter what the state the enemy ship is in. Here, late game can potentially cause more problems for you. Ships that start with a pre-igniter will generally end up being overpowered, though. Might as well wait until Cloak is f running out on its own. It gives the artillery a few more ticks. I'll we'll wait until he repairs that before we fire at it again. Let's keep ourselves safe. Hope he don't try to run. In the meantime, the artillery can charge. Fuel ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the quest. Sure. Sure. 
This is Jacob the fuel station ignites explosion. Fuel reserves ignites. You lose precious fuel in damaging your ship. Oh. Huh. That's new. Well, it is for me. Might just not take damage on that one. Surprisingly enough. Hello. <coughs> eh. Science, you know. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Alright, uh, we could get a store here, right? I think we can. Alright, we'll wait and fire. Took the beam off too, surprisingly. Come on, you gotta go, right? No, you're gonna hold on. Up, 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 up. <laughs> now they're all in there trying to fix it. Okay. Well, I guess the artillery will take care of things. Cool. We do get shields. Get them. Although that heavy laser, though. I'm gonna try it. Get funky with it. People don't get funky enough with it. So I might as well be the guy that. Uh, Price things a little bit differently. Let's get rid of the system case. Well, I'll buy your power. Ah, uh, your fuel, that is. We need one power bar for that. Let's upgrade this too. Okay. So, if we're going shields for a little bit, that too. This doesn't bite me in the butt too much. Mm. Alright. Well, that's close, so I can just go in, go out, and get the power out. That's how the cool people do it, right? The pirate control, because I better not deal with. Sultan shields, cute for a ship to come across being a Sultan pirate, but you know. It's all about minimizing the risks. Getting rid of them entirely is something you just can't do. Ooh, heck. Oh, engines. Well, so much for taking the power back. The game has decided things to go differently. And so it shall be. He shot both? Wow. So much for relying on artillery. It stopped the heavy again. This time with its face, but it still stopped it. Good grief. At least they got the slowest guy trying to repair that. Licenses aren't too bad. We got somebody on doors, we got a mantis already as well. Come on, fix it up. I dare you. I dare you. Wow. Well, I got served. 
Congratulations, team. You did it. Um. No, let's start going heavily on trying to get shields now. After I get this power bar. Now we'll go on for shields. What? Well, that changed my mind. Even if it kills me, which it might as well. You arrive, screen light up the warning, neighbor pirate, advanced hacking tools, try to shut down your engine, screen match to barely operational, blah blah blah. It's a good thing that that power bar is really gonna come into play now. Eh. Wow, two seventy percent chances and both failed. <laughs> so that's a uh, ten percent chance? No. Uh, three? I don't know. Low odds. Right. Asteroid field. I think we're going to skip that. Just a hunch. Attack. They got drones again. What a surprise. Well, that went well. Temporarily. And of course, and that gets hit. Let's take stupid amounts of damage. Because reasons. Well, the main reason being me not going for shields when I have the opportunity to. No. No. I'll get over it. Once again, we're halfway through shields. Once we got that, the world's our oyster, isn't it? Hey. Good one, game. Um, I guess I'll take the sun. Definitely not going for the asteroid field. The sun is bad as well, don't get me wrong. But might be more manageable. First born. Well, we're gonna try to make sure that they are in an equally bad position. And they're gonna keep their shields. Alright. Of course, weapons. Uh, I'll go help as well, I guess. All in all, it wasn't too bad. Probably took some damage in there. Hmm. Good stuff. Asteroid fields, as far as the eye can see. We'll fight. We're gonna get boarded by a, a rockman. We have a, a mantis to counter that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Send Yinji as well, because I'm not feeling that my Mantis is going to win. Yep. A wide selection of them, actually. Okay, that breach is going to be handy. Ten more and we should be able to get shields. And again with a drone. <sighs> Guess it's a good thing that I upgraded. There. And the extra weapon serves me well, too. Might as well go and heal you guys up. That's actually a pretty fun game. I haven't played it myself, but it looks fun. Here, check for a store. So we just have served in my moves, has to bring up a single life form. Sure, sure, Charlie. Who can stand on the doors? Uh, go here, go to here, go here to here. We got one extra jump in us. Once we get down there, <clears throat> try to be a hero. His weapons are all synced up anyway. Shouldn't be too difficult. And you can trust in a 90 percent dodge chance, right? It's not an 80. Definitely not 85. See. Good old 90, you got your back. Yep. Shields. We can always. Oh, we will be able to upgrade to level two as well. Limited available systems. Shields. Ship. Limited to two straight away. Done. Well, it's a small shield layer. Good. Good. Here to here, here. Yep, okay. It means defense drones will actually have a chance. Probably won't be using drones, but... Good. Uh, let's go, Civi. I might have shields, but I'm still not a fan of... Uh, Zoltan shields. Sure. All right, Mantis man. It's a human this time, and he's in a med ray. You can take this. We need both shield layers up. Hey, we might get our first few dodges in. I already got a few, actually. We don't need our dodges now. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder if he's gonna turn that off to turn that on. I'm willing to wait and see. Well, I guess we won't see it now, because he's off to go do his thing, and artillery will soon kill him. If only I could turn off the artillery. Oh well. What a shame. Alright, it's one more power bar. He might control the NG. dodged a bomb. So theoretically, we can then soon, once it's on cooldown, move the Zoltan and recover one power bar. Don't know what to put it in, probably medbay. Even that's not necessary because we still have power for medbay. Hmm. Favorite mod? Probably Captain's Edition. You're better off putting those mods into categories, though, I mean... It makes sense that Captain's Edition would be my favorite. It's an overhaul mod, there's a lot of stuff to do in it, but... I mean, there's ship mods, there's equipment mods, there's visual mods... You took the NG again? Oh my god! Either that or the NG just wants me dead. One more power bar. <coughs> Continue. You talk too much. Stop talking too much. This might be a tough nut to crack. That'll help. I guess we wait for the artillery to do its thing. Toward that. Screw you and your shield charger. Okay, let's see if we can give the artillery... There we go, perfect timing. Right. So I need to upgrade artillery once if I want it to be as cool. No, wait, it doesn't matter. No. No, it doesn't matter. If I want the artillery to have the same time <clears throat> as the actual glaive, I need to upgrade it three times, and I'm not willing to make that investment. So it's highly likely we'll once again see artillery fall to the wayside. Lame, but what are you gonna do? <clears throat> well, at least the artillery's out. Uh, piloting's out. If that's how you view artillery, then why not make artillery that doesn't have that problem? That's what I don't get. If you want to make artillery useful, then make it useful.
Ion Blast. I guess we bring that online. And now it's no longer a good idea. Is what you're saying. Alright. Quarantine. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'd say it's not too late to make changes, but yeah, probably is. So we'll fight our dastardly trap. Because we'll a decoy from Let's see if we can kill the crew on this one. It might be possible. Yeah, I think we got this. I can sell the anti drone. Well, update whatever you want. There are drones. Okay, we'll go to the store, sell all the drones, buy some fuel, I guess, through limited time offer. Ha! Your drones can't harm me anymore. At least not yet. They can only be slightly annoying now. Oh, there go shields. And piloting. store. Limited time offer, we'll buy fuel. It's expensive, but I will do it. Reloader. That might be good. That little while was still cheap. Let's wait on buying hacking. We don't need it yet. It's not like it's a rare system or anything. Cool. How are you doing on weapons? Better than this guy, so you're going there. And you are going here. Neat. Rock control, good thing we got. Missile defense. <coughs> we don't even need it. Well, look at that. So I guess we only use it when their weapons start sinking up. In some evil way. I guess we keep their weapons going as well so we can get those dodge chances and might as well get that sorted soon. You will never breathe again. Well, hopefully not. Can we stun that guy? Well, 
that'll help. Um... I always forget about artillery. Might be yet another reason why I'm not a big fan of it. You can definitely harm me, but... We can do quite a number on you too. Oh, it took the flak out surprisingly. Did not expect that. Go, go, artillery! can't get myself to upgrade artillery as much as I want to. Land the ship, more red rock body parts, core display, message is clear enough, hunter very select kind. Well, that's gonna be the end of it. This PC deserves a mad hunter on their back, time to make the galaxy a little safer. coming back. Ooh, a breach in oxygen. We can make use of that. The NG is not giving up. I mean, why would he? I don't tell her he takes it out. Which is fine. <clears throat> We're not really going with a crew kill setup anyway. Crew is on board and I forgot to heal the Mantis. Well that was a smart plan. I didn't think he'd actually ignore everyone. But he did. Alright, go there. We'll send in two NGs, I guess. One of them's even a human. some good work. Still ignoring oxygen, surprisingly. Ah, oh, there they go. No, they go for teleporter first. It's not thing to do. Hmm. Whatever. Can't kill the crew anyway. They're gonna repair oxygen. I still have to take the clone out. Blah 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 blah. blah. We'll not accept surrender. Uh, 
Okay. Well, a lot of scrap. <coughs> Strip the ship. Filthy pirates prepare to die. I love how they're so overconfident at the start. We're gonna have the first time trouble. No, save us now. So that was a flak mark two. Needless to say, I was expecting a flak mark one there. See? Cowards. Store. Mm, let's see what we can get. We can get hacking now. <clears throat> Yay, indeed. Okay, let's get this. Do two weapons upgrades. Sell the ion blast and get another upgrade there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Charge weapons and cloaking go well together. The upgrade rock. Demand the rock ship pay the green one price. Massive explosion damage from the rock ship shattering blah blah blah. Okay. I generally decide to pay the debt myself. Because you can get a reactor upgrade out of it. At least you can't take damage out of it. You can also get nothing out of it, I know, I know. But Auction system would have taken that if I had the opportunity to distress. More damage. All right. It's a good thing I repaired a little bit. Field Sun. I think I'd rather do the Asteroid Field. <clears throat> now that we actually have shields. So, hack, do that, do that, 
actually go there. First things for this, that, and that. There we go. Good freaking luck. Now I'm wondering, what happens if, like, your clone bay gets flung into space and it's still powered, and then you end up dying? Do you just get revived at infinitum until the battery on your clone bay runs out? I suppose you can take the time to try and swim towards a nearby planet or something. Uh, we'll go Civi again. Sure. But for now, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series for free. So it's probably coming like again or something if you haven't already. I'll see you guys all next episode. Bye, everyone.